Hello, everyone. Today we'll talk about a very famous and a very old song, "Chang Lang Ge" by Yi Ming. Yi Ming means the writer's name is unknown. At the very beginning, it was believed to be the song by Qu Yuan, who write "Li Sao," "Chu Sao," so the "Feng Sao." Half lay is based on Qu Yuan's uh, works, so he can be treated as the half root of the Chinese literature. Feng Sao, Feng Sao is the another name of the Chinese literature or the root of Chinese literature. This poem. Starts not only as a poem; it comes from a short stories, and the poem was in the stories and was described as a poem by Qu Yuan. So Qu Yuan is one of the major characters in the story. Let's have the poem, the songs first. 《沧浪歌》，佚名。沧浪之水清晰，可以濯我缨。沧浪之水濯兮，可以濯我足。So it's such a simple poem, and it's not much difference with modern Chinese. 沧浪。Is the name of a river, so normally we believe is Han Shui today, or refers to the downstream of Han Shui. Han Shui, Han Zi, that's the same words, so you know the place in the south of Shanxi and north of Hubei province. So the water in the river. Of Han or in the Chang Lang is so such clear. It can used to wash my、uh, robe attached to my hat. Ying means the robe attached to the hat, so you can tighten your hat. Chang Lang 之水濯兮濯 is not clear, so the. Water in the Changlang River. It's not clear. Sometimes it's when the storms comes, the heavy rains comes. It could be very dirty. So when the water is dirty, it can be used to wash my feet. So that's the point. Very simple and nothing special. And after our Illustration of this poem, you will know this poem is the fundamental philosophy for the Chinese intellectuals in the ancient times. Let's see. The poem initially came from a story, so it doesn't appear as a standalone poem or song. So let's see the story first. It was believed to be written by someone in the Chu country, in the Zhou Dynasty. So the name is Yu Fu Fisherman. I will I will just briefing the story is a little bit long. So the first paragraph is telling Qu Yuan, the who write Chu Ci or who. Was believed to write this song, "Chang Lang Ge." He was abandoned. He used to be a very powerful political character in the Chu country, and he was abandoned by the king. So he was、uh, touring in the very remote places of Chu country, Jiang Tan. Due to Jiang Tan, that means he's touring the place of Jiang Tan. Uh, which is actually today's Yuanjiang. So he was、uh, in a very bad condition. The 
body, the face, and of course the spiritual as well. And he just walk along the river, walk along the lakes because it, that's two countries along the Yangtze River. It's the place of a lot of the lakes and rivers. So he just、uh, sing songs and、uh, walking along the lakes and the rivers to express his feelings. He's so sad. So he happened late to meet. Encountered a fisherman. So the fisherman asked, "Are you San Lu Da Fu?" San Lu Da Fu is a position. So everybody in the Chu country knows San Lu Da Fu is Chu Yuan. So it, it's, this question is asking, asking, "Are you Chu Yuan? Why you come here? You are the most powerful political roles in the、uh, around the kings." So Qu Yuan replied, "Ju Shi Jie Zhuo Wo Du Qing, Zhong Ren Jie Zui Wo Du Xing." Remember this one. This is a very famous sentence. So all the world is so dirty. Only I'm clean. I'm the only clean one. Clean. Zhong Ren Jie Zui Wo Du Xing. Everybody is drunk. Only me awake. That's the reason I was abandoned. So that's the first paragraph. So in the second paragraph, the fisherman replied, "Chu Yuan, the saint or the people of knowledge won't stick to things. He just changes with the thing changing. So as everybody is so dirty." Why not just play with the mud and be dirty? Everybody's drunk, so why not drink the wines and get drunk? What's the reason you have so many thoughts and make yourself distinguished and make yourself abandoned to here? So that's the reply from the fisherman. Now it's the tense of Qu Yuan. He replied to the fisherman, "I heard that, Wu Wenzhi. I heard that. When finish the bathing, the newly bathed people, he will clean his head and his his clothes because some of the old dust is on the head and on the clothes. So." Because the, your body is so clean, how can you、uh, let your clean body to contact to those dirty things, the head, the clothes? So I would rather go to the Xiangjiang, the river of Xiang, and eat by the fish, Zhang Shen Yu Fu. So that's a very Uh, common words even today so,、uh, means well, who someone was drunk、uh, drunk in the rivers in the waters so we used the Zhang Shen Yu Yu Fu to replace uh, uh, to make it indirect expressions. 安能以浩浩之白而蒙世俗之尘埃 So. My spirit is pure. It's so purity. It's, it's purity. It's chastity. How can you let the dust of the world to shadow my purity, my chastity? The fourth parallel, fisherman's turn. The fisherman smiled when he heard the reply from Qu Yuan, and. Drive his boat away from Ju Yuan, and same time he sang the song "Chang Lang Ge." Chang Lang 之水清晰，可以濯无阴。Chang Lang 之水濯晰，可以濯无阻。So you can see the difference. Some、uh, poem is 我濯我兮，阻哦濯濯无阻。It's the same meaning. 
what and who is the sin meaning. So finally, the fisherman gone and、uh, not a word anymore. That's the story. Tang Lang Ge definitely is not by Chu Yuan because it was first recorded on Meng Zi, who died、uh, ten more years before Chu Yuan. So this song is already there, and the fisherman just used this song to as a reply to Chu Yuan, and also Xiangjiang in the story, the river of Xiang is far from the. Tang Lang Zhi Shui, the river of Tang Lang. So it's two different places. I guess several hundred kilometers away. So definitely it's not Chu Yuan's son. This story, the fisherman story, and the Tang Lang Ge raise the final and ultimate questions to classic Chinese intellectuals or scholars. So what's the rules? For your life, when you're dealing with the emperors, the kings, the political things, the society, and yourself, your own life. So, what's the rules? There's two types here. One is Chuans to serve the country, to contribute to the country, and to die with the country. That's what he did actually when the.、Uh, Country of Chu destroyed by Qin. He killed himself. Zhang Shen Yu Fu. So that's the words. The other type is the fisherman. He's、uh, someone with great intelligence. You can see from the story. So that's the type of a hermit, a Taoism. So hermit has a very very deep root from the Taoism. So the water is clean. You can wash your face with the clean water. When the water is dirty, you just wash your feet. You cannot make the water clean by your efforts. You just adapt to that. So these two philosophy can be expressed in one sentence. 欲治则事。欲乱，则隐。So when the country is in good hands, it's in the order. You can go out to ask the position to try to contribute the country. If it's in a chaos in the war time, you better go to a place very remote to be a hermit. So that's the. Uh, fundamental things for classic Chinese intellectuals. They need to know what kind of situation is, so they can apply to one of the rules to be a hermit or to try to get a position to contribute to the country. Of course, there's someone is quite stubborn because of the personal character characters, so they just use one rule to apply to. Either of the situations, so this can be seen very clear, clearly in the Tang Dynasty because Tang has changed enormously between the Civil War and after the Civil War, Anshu Zhuan. So there's huge change, not only the、uh, country, the society, but also the personal lives. So. Especially Bai Juyi,、uh, is most apparently to have such change. 达则兼济天下，穷则独善其身 So his early poems and his late poems looks like two different people writing the poems. So that's the. Uh, fundamental philosophy change of Bai Juyi, and he must know this story very well. Let's look at at a longer time frame from the Confucius time to Tang Dynasty. So Confucius established the、uh, 
uh, theory, all the social structures, all the cultures, which is by his books and also by the literature, Book of Sounds, Shi Jing. So everything should be associated with the country, with the kings. Everything should be beneficial to the society. So even you're doing the uh, writing the poems, even if it's just literatures, uh, the music, everything should be beneficial to the country. Otherwise, it's not good. So that's Confucius. And Chu uh, Tzu and Qi Yuan is not belonged to the Book of Songs, not belonged to the Confucius Confucianism. But when the time entered to the Han Dynasty, because after the warring states, it's Qin Dynasty, but Qin is too short to make any influence on the cultures. So it's then the Han Dynasty of several hundred years ago. So it's a quite long dynasty. The Han Dynasty, the Emperor Liu Bang, and his uh, descendants, of course, claims they are the people from Chu country. Where is the same country with Chu Yuan's? So nobody is sure when the term Feng Sao became uh, shows up, but I believe it's from the Han Dynasty. And the first emperor of Han Dynasty, Liu Bang, when he's writing the poems, he's always, always using the Chu Tzu style, which is the hometown of him. So when the Feng Sao, the term is, is established, actually it implies the Confucius is not everything. So you have the south part, and you have something else. But uh, on the surface, everything is still Confucius. When you're writing the poem, when you're uh, writing a song, a music, everything should be beneficial to the country. Basically, you should be a patriot. So there is a problem now. Qi Yuan definitely is a patriot, and he thinks and he doing things, everything for his country, and he died for his country. So I think there's something wrong with Confucius about the Book of Psalms. But there's a difference between the Book of Psalms and the Chu Si. First thing, the Book of Psalms, the most poems is with shorter sentences, normally four characters, four syllables in a sentence. The second, the, in the Book of Psalms, no writer's names. So in the Chu Tzu, normally it's seven syllables, seven characters in one sentence. And uh, you know very well who write the poem, who write the songs. And uh, for the content, I don't think there's too much difference. Something about the patriot things, about, about the country, something to express the feelings of the poet himself. And uh, of course, Book of Songs reflect a bigger uh, view of the time because there's so many contributors and some maybe the farmers, fishers, but Chu Tzu is all the noble people, it's all the high-ranking officials. So there's the Chu Tzu is still a limited uh, in its content. So from the Han Dynasty, Feng Sao I think is became equal.
but at the surface still confuses. And after Han Dynasty, just like the states of uh, warring states, the China separate to several uh, kingdoms. They have battles for several hundred years. So the life, of course, is not a good life. Battles, uh, miserables, and deaths. So that's all kinds of things. So in this time, the hermit shows up. The hermit actually has a long history. Even in the Zhou Dynasty, in the Warring States, but it's always very few uh, occasions. But in the uh, ha after Han Dynasty, the, the, we call it the North and South Dynasty. A lot of the intellectual scholars they start to think of be a hermit, and a lot of them became a hermit. We have one of the sons by Tao Yuanming, remember? So he was one of the famous hermit in the South and North dynasty. And in that time, it really established the Chu Zi's uh, foundation in the literature. So it became equal. So you can be a patriot or you can be a hermit and just express your feelings. And also you can write longer sentences, not only four syllable, four character sentences. So in the Tang Dynasty, it's quite a mixture. So it just depends on the poet himself, which flavor he prefers. But it's quite easy to dis, uh, to know. In the good times, a lot of people they just uh, acting as the Confucius way. So they going for their positions. They try to contribute to the country to be a patriot. And in the bad times, so a lot of people they prefer to become a hermit. So the words, 达则兼济天下, 穷则独善其身, since Tang Dynasty became a motto for most of the Chinese intellectuals. Okay, I hope you can understand my very long explanation on this, but it's quite fundamental. And sometimes it's not easy to explain well. And also I'm sorry for the noises uh, because my neighborhood is uh, decorating the his rooms. I'm in the Pirate River as well, so I should be a hermit, right? Now let's read this songs again and see if there is any other things we can feel can taste of. Chang Lang Ge, so it's the songs of the kids, by the kids, in the Warring States time. Chang Lang Zhi Shui Qing Xi, Ke Yi Zhuo Wo Ying. Chang Lang Zhi Shui Zhuo Xi, Ke Yi Zhuo Wo Zhu. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.